So, Stellar Blade just released, and even though I don't have a PlayStation and I haven't played it, I am an extremely hardcore Armored Core fan, which means I am a mech enthusiast. And like all good mech enthusiasts, I have a deep, intimate, growing collection of all my favorite sci-fi waifus, which include, but are not limited to, Samus, Cortana, Rei, Asuka, Kallen, Cosmos, Telos, Alita, Matoko, Zero Two, Pyra, the Macross Girls, 2B, and now it looks like I will be adding a new member to my fan favorites, Eve. Just look at her. Perfection in every sense of the word. And as a card-carrying member of the CCC, Certified Comrade of Culture, this game is very much my business to cover, because I have just finished binging all the walkthroughs and streams and reactions and highlights of this game, so let's just take a moment to appreciate this new gem, because games like this don't really come often anymore. If this game had come out while I was young and still in high school, it absolutely would have been one of my favorite games. I would have been labbing combos, replaying missions, I would have collected all the sexy outfits, been playing dress up doll with her hair and her colors and her earrings and accessories. I would have gotten all the endings and tried to complete it 100%. Speaking of 100% completion, let's just start with the first big reason that I think the game is good, which is the game is actually a complete game. The whole game was finished and polished before release. Do you know how f***ing rare that is today? In addition to the total experience being available out of the box, we also get all 74 different outfits available on release. Not as paid DLC, just good old-fashioned gameplay unlockables. That is crazy. Like, I haven't reliably had these kind of experiences since when I was playing the golden age of games like Zelda and Halo and Smash Bros and Mario and Armored Core and Final Fantasy and Sonic and Fire Emblem and Donkey Kong and, and Metroid. Back then when it was given that the game that you bought would literally be in one piece and fully accessible. So seeing that Stellar Blade was created out of that old philosophy just feels like such a nice breath of fresh air that I can hardly believe it still happens. For those of you who don't know, this game has been in development for nearly six years. It was originally called Project Eve, and I remember seeing the trailer like five years ago and thinking that looked pretty cool. But the release kept getting delayed until the director finally felt confident and satisfied with the level of quality that the project had achieved and released it now. Now that is true dedication. Traditional AAA level quality control at its finest. This game is what happens when a director steps in and tells the higher ups to f*** off, we are not releasing the game until it's properly ready. And thank god they did. Not only did the devs maintain and finish the game properly, they also completely understood their target audience. I mean, if you like beautiful gameplay with beautiful women holding beautiful swords, literally kicking beautiful ass, this game was made for you. Like, this is what the dev meetings probably looked like. Alright team, what do you think the players want? Not what they need, what do they actually want? Well, I think that we should tell them what they should want. Shut up, Jimmy. Yes, sir. Hey, intern, new kid, you probably have a fresh perspective. What do you think the players want from the game? Well, sir, um, they probably want to have fun. Okay, yeah, that's a good start. They probably want, um, awesome soundtrack. Okay. Smooth animations. Okay. A fun story. Okay. And, well... Just say it, kid. Well, they probably also want women. Like, lots of beautiful women. Hmm, you know what? Let's make it happen. What? That sounds boring and expensive. We would have to find and scan a beautiful woman's body to do that correctly, and then we would have to hire women with beautiful voices to voice them, and then hire animators that specialize in making feminine animations because there are none on the Unreal Marketplace. Instead of wasting our time and resources on those stupid things, we should be pioneering new gaming landscapes. But, would it be fun? I... I mean... probably. Okay, let's do it. But that makes no sense. How are we going to explain why everyone is a beautiful woman? I don't know, let's just do what Sky Girls did. 
10年の時が過ぎた Kid, do you think the players would buy that? Yeah, honestly, I, I really don't think they would care. Perfect, neither do we. But. Shut up, Jim. Yes, sir. Now go out there and find me the hottest Korean model you can find and ask her how much she charged for a scan. This is Hot Women with Swords, the game. If you don't like beautiful women with beautiful swords, then I don't know what to tell you. You might need to see therapy. But for the rest of us, this game is just a pure, fun, enjoyable experience. Not just to play, but also just to watch. You know when you look back on your favorite games and you ask yourself, what exactly was it that made those games perfect? And you can't really pin it to any one thing. Like when you try to imagine your favorite game, but without the story, or your favorite game without the smooth combat. You realize the only reason it's perfect is because it's not missing any one of those important aspects. Like, can you imagine Final Fantasy VII, but without the music? Or Metroid Prime, without the exploration and logs you find from the scan visor? Or Nier Automata, but all the graphics look like Steve from Minecraft? If you take even one element out of the perfect game, it drops a whole tier. What makes a good project is when every single aspect of it is working together, complementing each other. And I can tell you right now, every aspect of this game, from the 3D art down to the environment, to the story, the sound effects, the music, even the voicing, had inordinate amount of effort put into it. It's not like when you play a game and you can clearly tell that the soundtrack is just generic stuff they got from a stock website. Or when you're watching a movie and you can clearly tell the writers had no respect for some of the characters and just wrote them off like idiots. Even the side characters in this story are treated with respect and give Given their spotlight at different points throughout the game. The music slaps. The characters are stacked. The gameplay is smooth, and the story is well thought out. Now, do I think it's better than my favorite games like Metroid or Final Fantasy or Nier Automata? No, probably not. However, just trying to look at this objectively, this is a solid gaming experience, and it's just fun, which at the end of the day is what I think really matters most. Hopefully, it'll come to the PC on Steam soon, but in the meanwhile, I just wanted to gush about what I liked so far. Anyways, thanks for watching, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.